This video is brought to you by WP Forms. In this video, you'll learn how to redirect users after successful login in WordPress. This is great if you have, say, a membership site or an e-commerce store. It's also really good if you have maybe a business intranet site and you want to redirect employees, then you can do something like this. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is head over to our WordPress dashboard. I'm going to walk you through two different methods to do this. And the first one is by installing a plugin called Peter's login redirect. So once you log into your WordPress dashboard, let's head over to plugins, add new. And in the search bar, we want to look for Peter's login redirect. This is the one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and install it. And once it's installed, you'll also want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. So we'll activate it. Once activated, we want to head over to our settings area and go to login, logout redirects. And this is where we can set it up. There are a few different ways you can set this up. First, you can set up specific users. This would be probably good if you have just a handful of users. You can go through, select them, add the URL for once they log in, where do you, you want them to be redirected? And then when they log out, you can also choose where to send them on logging out. The next area is if your site is a little bit bigger and you don't want to worry about individual users, then you'll want to set it up for specific roles. This is great if say you want your subscribers to go to a particular area like the start here area, and you want say the editors to go to the admin area, you could set this up. We'll just do a little copy and paste here. So for instance, I'm going to do this for a subscriber and then I want to add another role because I want to allow my editors to go straight to the admin area. So you can set all of that up. Now in the specific levels, you can also do it by levels. For instance, if people activate plugins, then you can set this up and make this the top order and then let them go to the WP admin area based on the level that they have. And then down here, you could also set it up simply by making it really easy that anybody who logs in, anybody else, they will just get redirected to the start here. And then when they log out, you can set this up where they'll log out and they'll be redirected to the home page. One final area is say when somebody registers for your site for the first time, maybe this is a great area to either put them in the start here or even maybe a thank you page where they can be told what else to expect. Make sure when you're updating these, make sure you click the add role rule before you move on to the next area. So once you have all of those set up, you'll want to make sure you click update and then you'll see all of the updates have taken place. Now down here, you'll also want to make sure that you set the permission level for editing redirects. You'll want to make this a little bit more restrictive. So right now, anyone who manages categories, so an editor, can create these redirects. So you probably want to change that to anyone who installs plugins, which means that it would be the administrator level will be able to make these changes. Once you do that, go ahead and click update here as well. And now you have redirects set up using the Peters login redirect. You can also set up login redirects using WP forms. So let me walk you through how you can do that. WP forms out of the box is a great drag and drop contact form plugin. And it's very robust that it can be as simple as a contact form plugin to as complex as setting up your business automations. So to get started, you can head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP beginner. And when you go there, it will apply a coupon where you can get your best deal for WP forms. So to get WP forms, we're going to go over to plugins area, go ahead and click add new. And from here, we want to search for WP Forms. Go ahead and click Install Now. And also stick around to make sure that you activate it. Once you get your WP Forms license key, you can grab that from WP Forms account. And then go to WP Forms Settings. So we can paste the license key in here. What we'll do is go out, connect, and install the WP Forms Pro version for us. Great. Now that that's done, let's go over to our add-ons area. And we're looking for the user registration add-on. So scroll down. And we're going to install this add-on. 
it will automatically activate it as well for us, which is great. Great, now that that's activated, we're gonna go over to the left and click Add New so we can create the login form for us. I'm going to give it a name here. And then here are the templates that are associated with it. And here's the user login form that we want. So let's click Create User Login Form. And it'll go out and create all the basic form fields that we'll need for this. From here, we can change it however we want. You can drag and drop these items if you want to change it around. You can go over to Settings, and we want to go to Confirmation. Under Confirmation, this is where we can change the redirect. So you can either show a message, but we're wanting to redirect users once they log in. So then you'll want to put in the redirect here. Now when people use this login form, they'll be able to be redirected. So I'm going to save that, and we need to close that out. Next thing you want to do is create a page or a post where this will go and we'll call it login. And then under the block here, I'm going to click add block. If you don't see it in the in the most used area, then go ahead and start typing in WP forms until you see the widget pop up. Now that's here, we want to also pick the form that we were working on. We want the login form. And that's great. And then you can add anything else on this page that you want. For instance, if you want to add an image or a little bit more instructions, you can do that here. But this is good. And we can click Publish. And now we can view the page when we're not logged in. Now they have an area where they can log in. And once they do, they will be redirected. Don't forget that you'll also need to set up those pages that you are redirecting them to. And then if you want to do a little bit more, then you can use a page builder like Beaver Builder or Divi to create an even better looking login page for the users to log in up. And so those are very, two very powerful methods that you can use on how to redirect users after they successfully log in to your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.